It's springtime. Let's talk relationships. Hot blooded <laughs> relationships. Hot blooded relationships. <laughs> yeah. Ashley Bakewell is here from It's Just Lunch. Hey, Ashley. Hi, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. You're the senior membership director. Is that yeah. would give me what kind of what kind of fix can you put in for us as a senior membership director? <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> so um yeah, I match make my clients every day. I bring on new clients, I help Ooh. them through this scary dating world. I think you've described it very well. Yeah. It's scary. I'm the only one that's left here the in the squad. The only one that's left who's, who's unattached. Um, I think matchmaking would be fun. Uh, it's so fun. I love experts to do it. Not the home version. Give us a, yeah, not the home. Yeah, no, not the oh, home. Oh, no, perfect I, would be, for you. I would be extremely dissatisfied. Well, yeah, that's, about a different it. You know, that's what I'm talking about. Let the professionals do it, folks. All right, and Ashley is the professional. Give us a basic idea of what happens with It's Just Lunch. So, um, somebody will call me. Mm -hmm. that's single that's maybe struggling with online dating okay and you know I'll tell them about what we do and then I do an interview process and I have to make sure you know I have the men or women they're looking for and vice versa okay and if I do I bring them on as a client and um, I match them we do everything we do all the work I um, schedule their date we make the reservation all they have to do oh is my show gosh. it's wow. so easy it just shows up in the microsoft scheduler that like that an actually, outlook right. <laughs> that's <laughs> ideal really yeah so it's just lunch it's dating for busy professionals okay. so see yeah. i like that is the key i think the time factor is above and beyond almost anything else quite yeah. honestly is it can can you meet me in this window of time yeah. <laughs> and sit down and have a conversation. You say it's just lunch, but it can be coffee. It can be when whatever. you say it's just yeah. lunch too. It's much less intimidating yeah. sounding. Well, it's, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We do, you know, week weekend dates. You know, after work lunches, okay. whatever. Honestly, your schedule. Okay. We just work around your schedule because you're busy, and we get it. Right. We just need an hour. I noticed week. you said uh, single. Is that a prerequisite? Is that a requirement? It is a requirement <laughs> yeah. to be okay. single. Yeah. <laughs> It's not. I just know there's not a whole lot of Ashley Madison. Yeah. Yeah. Madison. Yeah. I got a little excited. Thing. <laughs> it's just lunchcleveland.com is the yes. uh, website, by the way, to go and take a look. So, what's the biggest? Okay. Um, when when somebody does call you, and I'm sure you get into more casual conversations with these people as well. What's the biggest problem that they have right now? I would say, and I hate to say it again, but online dating. Okay. Um, interesting fact that I um read recently and don't quote me on this I, actual numbers but there's 6400 dating apps out there oh, oh my are you gosh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. and get this not only are there 6400 ways to online date <laughs> if you are on your phone you know going through profiles uh -huh. for 45 yeah. minutes you go through almost 2000 people in 45 oh, minutes oh my god isn't that the saddest thing yeah cuz like you're just less than a second just that's like rapid sh fire sh 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 right rapid or left. fire wow. that's yeah. the problem with dating right now yeah so that's why my clients are calling me. And again, these are one-on-one -on -one dates because when I think it's just lunch, for some reason it pops into my head of like one of those speed dating things, which, you know, it's not a, you know, it's fine. <laughs> but but this is what we're trying to get away from. We want to be able to just sit down and relax and have a conversation with somebody. Right. You know, with online dating, there's so much back and forth, emailing, right. you know, mm -hmm. for six months and then you don't hear from that person. Or well, yeah. And you don't know if the person scam. is even telling yeah. the truth. Right. That's the a thing. lot of misrepresenting yeah. themselves yeah. How many lot. scams have happened on there? Right. Where they yeah. start sending right. money to that person. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot of Because it's not stories, even a real so. person. Yeah, it's sad. So yeah. that's why they call me, and I think matchmaking is just going to yeah. continue to keep growing. The right. Wall Street Journal just did a, they did an article on us about how more and more people are hiring matchmakers because online dating is so challenging. Are you, um, so how long have you been doing this? Uh, two years. Yeah. How, what's your success rate? How are you feeling? Pretty good? Um, great. You know, okay. I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get to help people find love every day. So, yeah. you know, there's nothing better than that. What's your best follow up or some, uh, your best, um, uh, success best, story? Best result. Yeah. Um, you know, I've had quite a few. I've been invited to quite a few weddings too. Hey, yeah, see, right? that's what I was going to ask. Um, yeah. My yeah. favorite yeah. story. I had a gentleman, um, this was some, a few months ago. Well, probably, you know, eight months ago, he's divorced, had two kids, really tried the online dating, wasn't going yeah. well. Yeah. Anyways, he became a client. I matched him. Um, I believe it was maybe his second match. Goes on a date with her. You know, they hit it off. They have a great time. She goes to pay. They pay separate checks, too. Um, she goes to grab her wallet out of purse, couldn't find it. 
Uh, she thought it got stolen because she had oh, an arm of yeah, her chair. Well, I didn't bring any so money. So get this. So the gentleman, so they, they go their separate ways. You know, they exchange numbers. They had a nice mm-hmm. date. The next morning, they they were on a date in Ohio City. He went in all of the garbage cans to go look for her wallet. Because he thought oh somebody stole it and yeah. threw it, you uh-huh. know, in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, didn't find it. It happened to be under her seat in her car. She got a couple <laughs> oh, days later. No. <laughs> <laughs> but they're happily together. And, oh, and they um, have a story. He called me recently and told me, you know, he couldn't put a price tag on it. He's, you know, so happy and in love. And That's yeah. great news. Yeah. That mm. is really amazing. If yeah. you get lunch, lunch, though, going through the dumpsters. <laughs> yeah, right. You're good to, you go to the right in Ohio City, maybe. <laughs> it's just okay. lunchcleveland.com. That's where you go to uh, to have uh, Ashley start working on your situation. No matter how bad it is out there. <laughs> really? So you, uh, give it a nobody, shot. nobody's turned away. You, <laughs> well, if I walked in, you wouldn't go, well, sir. We, there's nothing we can do. Get out. Well, you know, we're selective, and I got to make sure, you know, whoever calls me, I have what they're looking for, and vice versa. It's right. got to work yeah. for me to bring okay. them. So if it's well, somebody who is yeah, extremely nice. picky and they have very, like, a very set, very narrow focus. <laughs> yeah. Those are my favorite. Um, they're very challenging. challenging. <laughs> yeah, but they're. You know, I think everybody deserves to find love. Sure. So, but yes, if they're super uber uber yeah. picky, yeah. you know, yeah. we got to talk about something. guys right? or girls. Yeah. Who's, who's the most picky? You can say well, it. It's guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, it, it's yeah. guys or it's yeah. older women. Really? Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. It is. Okay. That's now we're learning some things. Just some demographics <laughs> here. It's just lunchcleveland.com. You ready to take on Chip in the Feud? I am ready. Good? All Let's right. Do here it. we go. Get ready to play along as Nolan Malone, Kulik, and Tracy present Morning Show Feud. Yep, it is called The Feud, and we do need somebody to play along. So with that in mind, we go to the phones. Magic Morning Show. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's this? Dan. Dan, where are you calling from? Menner. Dan and Menner. Who are you going to go with, Ashley or Kulik? Kulik. Go on with Kulik. <laughs> All right, Dan. Well, here's what you could win. All right. You, if Chip wins, will win a pair of tickets to The Price is Right Live. It's Thursday, November 14th at the Akron Civic Theater. Experience the hit interactive stage show that gives you the chance to hear your name called to come on down. Play classic games like Plinko, Cliffhangers, The Big Wheel, and even the fabulous showcase. Tickets go on sale this Friday, 10 a.m. at Ticketmaster.com. We're going to throw on a date with Nolan. But, yeah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, no. Cliffhanger. That, that game I'm going to get a lot of calls for that, probably. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just lunch with Mark. Uh, yeah. You'd have to change the website and everything. Nobody wants that. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Question number one. Number one. What is the melting temperature of silver in Fahrenheit? Give me the melting temperature of silver. I told you they were impossible. <laughs> in Fahrenheit. That's why whoever is closest. What is the melting temperature of silver? In Fahrenheit. Question number two. The red kangaroo is the largest marsupial. How tall is the red kangaroo when it is fully grown in feet? The red kangaroo is the largest marsupial. How tall is it when it is fully grown in feet? Question number three. In what year was plastic invented? In what year was plastic Plastic invented? invented? Yes. Hmm. It's all plastic nowadays, son. Yes. (laughs) Question number four. What was the Earth's Estimated population in the year 2012. In the year 2012, what was the population estimation for Earth? In what year? 2012. Not 13. No, the population... 2012. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Don't give it for the <laughs> next I, not year. 13. Not 2011. <laughs> 2012. Population of Earth. 2012. And finally, question number five. How many eggs does the average female alligator lay at a time? How many eggs does the average female alligator lay at a time? You ever hooked up alligators before? No. (laughs) No, I'm (laughs) Wally Gator. (laughs) How many eggs? Boy. When you have your answers, pass them over to Tracy Carroll. 
Ashley is ready. Did you hear her? Yes. I'm nervous. Forcefully tear that sheet away from the tablet. Come on, cool. Time constraints here. <sighs> Time <know>. constraints. <laughs> yeah. Sort of, maybe. No. Not really. This is not going to be good. Okay. How are these answers Ooh, looking? We're pretty close in a couple oh, of them. Oh, everybody's. Mother's not so close. <laughs> They're matching up in their answers. So there we go. Five that's, for five. That's how you do it, a blind <laughs> test. <laughs> it's just few.com. <laughs> Um, question number one. What is the melting temperature of silver in Fahrenheit? 1,763 degrees Fahrenheit, the melting point of silver. All right. Chip said 1,700. Whoa! I had 1,250 and then changed That's it. That's a jewelry thing. 1,250 is gold, right? I don't know. I think. Ashley from you It's know. Just Lunch. Yeah. It's not just silver. No. <laughs> Said 375. Yeah, they're trying to get gold. Way off. White Chip. gold. Mm -hmm. Or platinum. Question number two. The red kangaroo is the largest marsupial. How tall is it when it is fully grown in feet on average? Seven feet tall. Wow. Chip said seven. Mm hmm. Ashley said seven feet six inches. Oh, Too bad. Oh, seven mm. six. All right. Slightly off. Maybe she was going with like the Guinness record there. Right, the tallest of the tallest red kangaroos. Oh, you guys didn't know that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> oh, you didn't? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't clarify. <laughs> uh, question number three. In what year was plastic I have no invented? Idea. It's an embarrassing I have no idea answer. Either. It was 1907. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's all plastics. The thing that's funny is this is one where their answers are almost identical. Oh, really? In terms of being bad? <laughs> Identically <laughs> awful. Chip said 1945. Mm hmm. Unfortunately, Ashley from It's Just Lunch said 1946. Oh, oh wow. Got it. That uh, means Chip has what is, what is one. Like, and which was it? Nineteen oh seven. Nineteen oh seven. Wow. Nineteen oh seven. I was trying to think because I'm trying to think of anything that was made of plastic yeah, back then. So yeah. Was I, I, I figured the war maybe started it up or that's something. A, that's a good mm -hmm. thought. Yeah. All right. Uh, question number four. What was the, what was the Earth's estimated population in 2012? Seven point one two one billion. Mm. Seven point one two one yeah. billion. Chip said 6.5 billion. Mm. Ashley from It's Just Lunch said 1 billion. <laughs> a lot of elbow room. She works with a smaller There must have been like a idea. pandemic that wiped out. <laughs> I, I was thinking the single people. Yeah, she, she was, wanted to no. know the people that were looking to oh, date. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was 2012. She was thinking 2011. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, you're That's right. what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> I understand. It's okay. Um, question number five. How many eggs does the average female alligator lay at a time? Forty. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought it was like, like, how many, said, like how many seven take? or eight. Yeah. I don't know. Ten, maybe. That. Wow. I wasn't yeah. sure. I... All right. Chip, of course you weren't sure because you said eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh... Ashley from It's Just Lunch nailed it with 11. She would have taken the tiebreaker. Oh, well. Oh, well, well, Had it come well. to that. And keep okay. giving you the bell anyway. It's all right. It's all right, Ashley. We well, understand. Well, Chip does this little end now, zone dance here, and then we'll get back here's, to it. Here's life. where you find out like, that how you'll be amazed that he is not single. Yeah. Go ahead, Chip. <laughs> you are <laughs> well. Sorry, Ashley, from It's Just Lunch, because today mm -hmm. it's just loss. And I'm wow. going to swipe you right out of the studio here, because this is for... <laughs> <laughs> the studio. Chips had yeah. a couple at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you better get on to winnersonly.com because that's oh. what it is here. If this is my house, it has always been my house. It'll always be my house. I don't care about this station on vacation. At another location, I'm a bad man. Let it be sent from Public Square, Times Square, Red done, Square, huh? yeah. Tiananmen yeah. Square, another massacre is taking place here on the feud. <laughs> who let the Earl out? Who, 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 who let the Earl out? Who, who, who? Your assumption is correct. There was bribery wow. and Involved yeah. in him getting married. Back, back to yeah. you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, She's right, sitting yes. here going, man, I'm glad I don't have to find a match for that one. She's <laughs> You'd be in a separate bin. She's just like, I don't know, we could throw you at this guy. My wife is still See paying the dowry. Yeah, she's still. <laughs> um, it's just lunchcleveland.com. Go take a look. See what you can do there.
there. You talk to Ashley eventually, and then uh, hopefully you get yourself uh, get yourself fixed up out there. You do great work. It's good that you're doing this because we need the, the people to be together, plain Thank and you. simple. Yeah, All right. absolutely. And what if a wife came in and said, I need to hook my husband up just to get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. That's a client I would not take on. <laughs> I'd, take, I'd, like to get, I'd like to leave, but that I'd like to at least have a have you, poor fella. Have you ever had a woman? a lot of my other clients out. <laughs> ever had a woman named Amy ask you? <laughs> Ashley, thank you again for coming in. We appreciate you. it. You got it.